During the House debate over amendments to the defense bill, Republican Congressman Eli Crane of Arizona brought up a proposal to ban the Defense Department from considering race, gender, religion, and political affiliations when recruiting, training, promoting, and educating service members. Here's what he said, though, when he took to the floor to defend his measure. My amendment has nothing to do with whether or not colored people or black people or anybody can serve, okay? It has nothing to do with color Mr. Your Speaker. skin, your, any of that stuff. What we want to... What we want to preserve and maintain is the fact that our military does not become a social experiment. We want the best of the best. We want to have standards that guide who, who's in what unit, what they do. And I'm going to tell you guys right, right now, the all Russians, right. so, the Chinese, um, the Iranians, right. so they the took North down Koreans, his words. Let me tell you not, something. I had somebody ask me because, um, yes, they didn't grow up in the South, Gene, when I did. Um, said, well, you know, is that just what, what people say behind closed doors? I, I, yeah. I can tell you, maybe in the 1960s, but mm -hmm. I, I haven't heard in, in polite society or in Sunday school class or behind closed doors yeah. in law firms or anywhere else, people using that term. I only bring that up to say that when he goes on the floor and talks about colored people or what, what yeah. I mean, using that language, that's something, it, it's, it's like that sports guy uh, who, who talked about the Negro League. Uh, you know what? The, those words are, are coming out because obviously they're using it in everyday life. I mean, people oh, make mistakes yeah. all the time. I just, I, that's just a mistake I haven't heard in 50 years in the South. Well, you, you know, of course, I guess I wouldn't hear it <laughs> if, if it were being said. But you know, welcome to the 2020s, and in the in the MAGA Republican Party. I mean, they have, apparently, um, because yes, you're right. If if that comes out on the House floor, then clearly this is the way that guy talks uh, in private conversations, and this is the way that guy thinks, um, uh, which is, uh, you know, I. Shocking, I guess, um, to, to hear it out loud. Um, uh, it, it, it sort of uh, it, it sort of makes you re understand and remember that uh, even paranoids have en enemies, right? And and um, and right. it's not paranoia uh, to think that um, that that there's this kind of frank um, uh, old style racism out there uh, that. Uh, that, that continues even um, all these decades later. I've, I've, I've just got to bring this case up uh, again. Jen, uh, it wasn't so long ago that the Republican parties uh, pulled Steve King from Iowa off of committees and basically uh, ran against him to destroy him because of him doing things so much uh, more moderate, I, I hate to even use the word, than, yeah. than what Trump Republicans are doing every day. It's, I, you know, I'm, I'm so optimistic about this country. And, you know, we always talk about the MLK uh, quote that MLK liked to say about uh, justice, uh, you know, the arc of history is bending towards justice. They will say over the past seven, eight years, and at least in the Trump wing of the Republican Party, it's taken a massive, wicked, depressing detour. And yesterday was another example of that. I mean, it's 6.35, and the Republicans have taken my breath away three times already in this show. It's like, yeah. uh, when we heard that. Trump, the, the, the people in the Biden districts voting for the abortion amendment, and then this man talking about colored people no. first of all i mean it, it i mean i, I these guys know mark and john know i am a, i have a big facial reaction person <laughs> but i was like her arms went in the air and me too i we saw both that clip like, last time, but no. i didn't know what they were talking about it's, it's just so wild to me but also does this man know anything about the american military right now because no. it is i mean i think it's 
the most diverse institution in the United States, if not one of the most diverse institutions in the United States. I was on a, yeah. a Navy ship recently where they spoke, one of the officers there spoke, spoke so proudly of the diversity in their ship and how everyone's from a different part of the country and they all make it work and learn from each other. I mean, this man, so not only is it, you know, from the 50s, 60s, and racist, but also just shows his ignorance well, about because, how the military operates that's today. Because he, that's because he would say, uh, you think that that's laudable diversity. He would say that just proves that the military has become a woke social experiment. It's like that diversity is not to be admired. Yeah, but to we, be, DEI. Like, that, that's a, that, those guys are obviously that type. You think that's great? We got to fix this. But this, that needs to be oh, that, that, <laughs> oh, What he wants to say is that he wants to say that ship needs to be a little whiter. Okay. This would be um, his position. Yeah.